Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God, and we show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Monday, January 19th, 2015, and they have come out with the announcement that they have the key to turn the CERN Large Hadron Collider on this year, which has been, it's been turned off for the last two years. See how the CERN tag up here has the 666 involved? On our channel, we've shown how this is one of the tools that will be used to open the abyss of the Bible and to let Satan and his angels come through upon this earth and to open the pits of hell and that this is all actually going according to the Bible when the angel comes down from Revelation 9 that everything must be prepared, that all of Scripture must be fulfilled for this fifth trumpet. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. That he gets this key, and it begins World War Three and everything else, and just a terrible time upon the earth that's coming right here. Well, this stuff is mapped out all upon the earth. See this large area right here, where it's all incorporated? And the main building is right here. The main building is right here. This is going to show the beast of the Bible coming, and the time of the serpent. The whole earth is mapped out as a grid, just as this giant machine is supposed to be made for the end of days for Scripture. That, I mean, if the Bible's real, all of this should be going on just like this. And entities that people would consider to be aliens would be the watchers and the fallen angels, or even the angels on the other side, all around us. And this light and darkness fighting, that it would be real. And it's mapped out all right here, right in front of us. Here's the large Hadron Collider, the main base area. This represents the serpent of the Bible coming. The whole earth is mapped out as this grid, just like it's, it's part of vision board magic. You would have to realize that these things going on would be a blending of actual technology and a type of magic. That that's what all of this really means with the Bible and everything, with God being the ultimate power source of everything. But you have a blending of technology and actual magical things and spiritual things going on with the power of idols and demons and beasts and interdimensional rifts and such, that it's all real. See this large serpent coming right here? This represents the serpent being let loose out of the abyss. Right here, the beginning of the end of days. He is sitting right here, the beast that's coming. He's shown all the time. Once you wake up, you'll begin to see that this is all around us. He even has something wrong with his legs. But he's sitting right here. He looks just like this. Exactly. That's what he looks like. For those that have been following me, we know this. See how this guy looks right here? And he has these legs like goat legs, or even like no legs at all. See, his legs are messed up. He's shown over and over and over again, even on TV shows, because it's part of all the magic of the, the force of will that's going on all around us. In Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he's shown as this big blue guy in this, this canister as the world elite are trying to wake him up. And they're taking his blood and putting it into people right here. This situation is replayed over and over again of this beast coming after the woman in the Bible. It was replayed with Oscar Pistorius. He's seen as Oz. That's what he's known as many times, Oz. And Oscar Pistorius, see him with his legs? And he killed his wife, the serpent going after the woman. This is replayed over and over and over again. In the Prometheus movie, he is the engineer, the elephant guy coming right here. See him? This is him sitting inside this little spaceship coming right here right there. Look at that. That is perfect. And he is the serpent. It's always backed up like this. When I finish this out, he's going to be sitting in his little craft, coming and working a person as a puppet right here. But here is the Hydra. There we go. Well, I didn't want to make this too long. Let's, let's refurbish this. Let's show him right here quickly. Let's go ahead and just do this quickly. 
we break down many hieroglyphs from around the world too. This is one of hundreds we have broken down practically. Well, not hundreds, but at least 20. But this shows this beast coming. This is of Akhenaten. How is this done? Spiritually, things have been controlled since the beginning of time. You can see the alien blended in right here with Akhenaten, which has a lot of semblance to do with Obama, Miss Obama, and his two daughters. Right here. And Akhenaten tried to start a one world religion using basically a type of Catholic wafer, the Eucharist, which is what this guy comes with. In the Bible, he's, he takes over for three and a half years to deceive the world. Right here, it shows him working in his type of vampiric, and he works through like a mirror even. He's going to be controlling Prince William, and you're going to see Prince William right here doing the mark of the beast. See the vampire entity looking through the mirror, like sitting in his spaceship and controlling Prince William? And he's doing the mark of the beast on this man right here. Pull out your iPhone and take a picture of that now. And then take a picture of this like that. When you go out to eat or have a drink at the local cantina, show people this. There you go. Prince William doing the mark of the beast with this vampiric entity controlling him. Just like you see him here controlling Obama. And he's eating souls. This represents a soul and a chalice. Okay, let's review this real quickly. Look, there's, oh, there's Prince William. There's Obama, controlled by these things. Okay, let's review this quickly. This guy is shown all over the place, for one. He's um, right here on the Illuminati box cover. It, animal eye, the beast coming. See this here? The fifth age of the Bible represents a statue from the book of Daniel that God said there would be five ages, then he would bring destruction with this type of New World Order and Armageddon and such. We're nearing that time now. This is the what God told Daniel in the Bible. There would be one, two, three, four, five ages. The fifth age is a great deception. This last age with the feet is a great deception coming where they try to blend the iron with the clay, like blending machines with mankind. And then God throws this giant stone and destroys everything after this point. We're nearing this time of the great deception coming. And this guy gets 42 months to do it. It's not easy to see. He's right in here. He's right here at the CERN place. CERN. And he's sitting just like this, looking like that clown we continuously show. See, his mouth comes all the way down there. Oops. Right there. In the Bible, it says he's going to make everybody worship the image of the beast. On this glyph, you can see him coming down here. The V for the fifth age, the key to open the abyss, this new Eucharist he will give out. And right here, see this crystal type headed skull? They're making everybody worship this. See this man worshiping this crystal skull? And he's losing his soul. That's what the Bible says all through there. So there we go. We see the evidence of this. This is interdimensional rifts, wormholes. This is real. There he is. Oops. Put him right there. You can see him. And then you can see right here the perfect serpent. Look at that. That represents the serpent of the Bible coming. May God have mercy on us all. And the CERN thing is all meant to open up these rifts and wormholes. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This is real and right in front of us. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.